Hello everybody, so today I'm just going to talk about um, EcoWorth. Now I thought it was really good, um, I've been using it a little while, not long, a couple of weeks maybe. And I'm sorry if you can't hear me very well, I can't talk too loud, my son's in bed. But basically today I went to, I went to check on Red, which is my big blower. Now, because she's in shed, I you know, I thought, okay, she might just be soaking in a water bowl because she, she, it might be dry in there, but humid was at, uh, the humidity level was about 65, maybe 70% humidity. It went until I looked at the face and I seen a mite crawl out of her nose mm, across her head. Sorry about the hair in my mouth. So I was like, damn. Now what? So I went to get her out, absolutely riddled with mites. And I've never ever had to, I've never had mite issues in my entire life. I haven't reptiles, never. So I thought, shit, better check on where the snakes. So before I did that, I took, emptied her tank out, cleaned it out, put her in the. Well, Show you. Put her in this tub here, um, filled it with water, warm water, left her in there for an hour. Well, whilst I was cleaning that whole tank and that, disinfecting it down, this stuff's really good. This is what I use. Anyway, so clean the tank down, no mites in there, make sure there was nothing in there. So the water that she was sitting in riddled, it was absolutely covered. And I was like, right, okay, so took her around. Put her in another clean tub, like no water. Emptied that water out, filled it back in, put it back in. I did that eight, nine times. I think maybe even ten times I've done that. To the point where it was like, okay, I don't think she's got any left. So I put newspaper in the bin, put her in there. I thought, right, okay, she should be fine. I took all of the soot, like, um, like I said, took all the soot out. I took hide out everything. The hide, at the minute, I'm being soaked. Um, so I want to make sure all the bacteria and everything dies. Um, so she hasn't got any hide at the minute. You can see there, she's just there on newspaper. But before that, she, uh, oh sorry, so, uh, basically, well, I don't, I don't even know where to begin. So anyway, once I put it back in, then I had to come Sapphire's tank. Now she's my female that I'm breeding. So lucky with her. There was a couple of mites, but I've, you know, I've managed to get lucky with that one. So cleaned her out, disinfected everything, soaked her as well. Luckily she shed. So she shed, checked all of the scales, checked under her belly, checked the, um, the pits on her face, the heat pits on her face. Nothing. So she's completely, she's got a full bill of health. She's got no mites, nothing. So I'm happy with that. Anyway, then I was like, right, I better check on mother snakes. Now, I don't know if, I don't even know if, no, Kong didn't have substrate. He's just on newspaper, so Kong's in here. Now, he didn't have any mites, but Satan, my milk snake, he had uh, the same substrate. So, cleared him or cleaned him out. He had mites as well so I was like great three snakes got mites now managed to clean him out sort him out all the mites are gone touch wood right touch wood they're all gone Spyro didn't have substrate he's just got newspaper he's completely fine now Noodle my baby boa who's in here I am so lucky I am so lucky although he's he hasn't got Eco worth. He's just got wood chip in my opinion. So you can see there. He's just got wood chip and and bark and stuff. Not wood chip. Sorry, bark. And like, uh, I think it's a bit of cocoa husk and what have you. So anyway, so I thought, you know, I'll clean it all out. Ziggy's fine. She's she has she doesn't have eco or anything like she's hundred percent fine. Anyway, so I thought that was it. Went off, had a look, turns out eco worth. 
can actually carry eggs and then them eggs once they're in the tank and the like, humidity starts going in and the damp and everything else they can hatch and blah 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 so this is eco earth now i'm pissed right now this is eco earth i used earth mix all right now there is actually um well what do you call it mites in that eco earth now what's left in this bag what's left at the bottom there all right this stuff i've not used now there is mites in that so i'm going to kick off like mad tomorrow when i get hold of the people that i bought this from um but the worst bit about it is they should have something on here to say what to do when you buy this stuff so on the forums now people say oh boil it in hot water blah 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 this and ever but you don't want to be doing that when you're getting substrates and stuff you just want to put it straight in you shouldn't have to fuck around with sorry about my language you don't want to mess around with boiling it and everything else you just want to put it in and it do what it's supposed to do <coughs> excuse me so anyway so i've come back up i'm like right i'm gonna have a shower because i felt, I felt itchy so i found a couple of mites on me which was creepy anyway so i ended up getting in the shower with red right so me and her are in the shower well put her in the shower first i tried to i'm literally rubbing and trying to like lift up every little bit of scale try and flush it all out must have been well over about 80 odd mites just literally just come pouring off and off of where they're Bloody hell, they come from. Now, what well, if I can get a torch? Where's my torch? Oh, I don't want to shine it too bright in her face, but if I shine it up into the tank, you know, you see. And there is currently no mites that I can see at all. So I might have actually been able to get most of them off. Now, oh, I'm blind at myself, man. So, in fact, I'll use this torch to brighten the room up a bit. <coughs> so, anyway, um, oh, God, what was I going to say now? That was it. So, I'm a bit frustrated today. I'm a man's on it, <coughs> So, I find once you clean your tank, Clean as much as you can, get your snake in the damn shower, right? Let them, because she loved it, she was actually really happy, like she was properly chilled out. She just kept trying to go up towards the water. And as they do that, run your hand down them and just keep trying to get as many off as you can. I know there's other ways of doing it, getting sprays and what have you. I have ordered some of that stuff because I haven't actually got any mites spray because I've never thought I'd get mites. Because I've never had mites before. So, best thing to do, put them in the shower and literally just rub them down. Not harsh, right? Don't use any soaps or anything unless you've got a proper reptile like shampoo or like a like a, a mite mixture that you rub on the snake or something. Oh, and before we go any further with that, I did actually put some oil on her as well because a friend of mine told me if you put, um, oh, what's it called? Olive oil on the snake and around the viv and stuff. It basically suffocates the mites because they breathe through not only their mouth, but their body, like their skin. So if they cling, if they get clung up with the oil, they'll suffocate and die. But I didn't like the idea of my snake being covered in oil, to be honest with you, and the bulbs and I guess warming them pretty hot. Last thing I needed was a <laughs> ignition of fire and I doubt it would happen, but let's be honest, rather safe than sorry. So my advice, the, my personal opinion, just because I've done it, shower your snake if you want to get rid of mites, or even your lizard. If you've got like a desert reptile that wouldn't do very well in water at all, like maybe bearded dragon or a gecko i mean it wouldn't hurt just for maybe a couple of seconds maybe a minute or so i don't think it'd do any damage it's better than soaking them anyway where they're breathing in like the 
the warm water coming up and whatever. If you're in the shower, it's literally just coming down like it wouldn't rain and it might wash it off. So give that a try. Um, let me know what you think of this video. Ask any questions, you go ahead, just fire questions ahead. I'll try and answer them. So if you like this video, please, please give it a thumbs up. Please turn on the notification bell and I'll see you in the next one. Take it easy.